let me give you a full tour, the full detail tour of <laughs> my man cave. Now I have shown some of this stuff before. There's a video, there's a, I'll put a link in right here where I did a house tour. And I came down and I talked a little bit about some of these things. But today I thought I would try to go into a little bit more detail about some of my favorite stuff. So this we can start with was uh, New Year's Eve 2016 in Cabo, Mexico at um, Cabo Wabo. And Sammy Hager was in town. We were very pumped and uh, he didn't show up. He showed up like three days later. Um, when we were going on another trip, so unfortunately, and it would have been awesome. James Hetfield was there from Metallica, and I forget all of the stars that were hanging out, but about two days later. Brutal. Um, so that's that. Uh, this is an elephant that we got in Thailand. This is a big group of our friends and neighbors at a trip. To Disneyland we're at um, Ralph Brennan's jazz restaurant in um, downtown Disney. This is a very touristy typical mask from New Orleans and we were there in 2016 I think as well. And this is a carved Thai Buddha. It comes in a couple pieces so it doesn't break. And yeah, we got that in Thailand as well. And this is up with our friend Larry on a local roller coaster, a little triple loop coaster at Callaway Park. Fun, fun day. This was, I believe, his birthday present a few years ago. This is a cell from my favorite Disney character, Oswald, the Lucky Rabbit, and a special collector's Oswald pin that's mounted right in the frame. I, I absolutely love this. And moving along, this is going to be a long video, so like I said, this little statue we got in the town of, uh, it's just on the Pacific coast near, near Cabo. It's where the Hotel California is. That's, they claim is where um, the Eagles wrote the song about. It's not true, but it's a big tourist attraction. And this little guy, he just, uh, he kind of reminds me of a friend of mine who, who sadly died too, too young. Anyways, this is a little painting I really, not a painting, this is a picture I like. It is of the dock where my dad keeps his boat and has for many, many years, probably 25 years I think he was here, and he just moved, so just a memory now, East Souk Park, Pacific Lions Maria. And this is one of those um, sketches you can get at the Art of Disney. And I can't remember where we got this, whether it was land or world, but this one's sort of um, one of Michelle's favorite characters. Head down the stairs. This is another thing from Thailand. Just carved elephants, and this is uh, some Thai, Thai silk. More elephants. Lucky elephants. This is a print from a friend of ours named... Brent Heighton. We've had this here for years. And now things are going to get a little messy here, but this is, this is my bookshelf with a lot of camera gear. I got like a bin up there. Now this shelf is all of my camera stuff and some of my favorite books. But yeah, I keep a lot of my gear up here. There's my, one of my mounts. I think it's a little bit smashed for our GoPro. Uh, GoPro, got memory cards, more of those little, just all kinds of random stuff. And here's some cameras, 
old cameras that I've used over the years. One of my own, my old uh, Sony Alpha. This is the first first HD camera I had. This Panasonic that died after going a little bit too too deep too many times in the ocean. Here I've got just a whole bunch of books and uh, if you remember Heavy Metal magazine, maybe you saw the animated movie. A uh, huge fan. He's like each one of these is like a graphic novel, and um, it's awesome. Lots of books. Lots of books about my favorite rock stars and influential musicians. Of course, Walt Disney and a whole bunch of Hunter Thompson stuff because big fan. And some old classics. Oh, there's one of my my Grammy. <laughs> and yeah, just a whole bunch of books. I even have a really old Lord of the Rings single edition. And then just other stuff that's here. Like that's a reflector for for lighting. And we turn the corner. Here's a little welcome mat. Actually lights up and plays drumming music, but I've disabled that because it gets a little annoying after a while. Here I've got some um, these are little original watercolor paintings we bought. Um, where did we buy those? Victoria, British Columbia. This is another piece I just really liked. I uh, bought it in a gallery in Bragg Creek, Alberta. And this is that same artist again. Just another raven. I like them. And then this is the main room here. So where do we start? Let's start at the back, I guess. So I got some rear speakers. These are Polk Audio. Um, I would say this is like a medium-sized speaker rather than a small speaker, but excellent for all of the surround sound for movies. And I think this is my my first Oswald hat that I bought at Disneyland, probably back in 2015. This is a mask of Frankenstein. Uh, my grandfather used to always tell us that uh, Boris Karloff was his great uncle. And I've never really looked into it, but I believe it's true. Um, his real name was Pratt. I believe it was William Henry Pratt. And this is an electric fireplace. It's a heat, it's got a thermostat. So it keeps the basement nice and warm. You can change it. If you'd like you can do uh, let me do it here. Let's see. Change the color on some of the lights. And uh, different flames. I wish they had a green one, but turn it off. Kind of like that one. And uh, what else we got? I got a one of one of my Wookiee skulls that I've collected and I drink out of from time to time. Actually, yeah, these were from uh, Disneyland again uh, back when um, Star Wars was starting up again. Uh, random Canon camera. <laughs> Got a Life magazine, Mickey Mouse, when he turned 90 years old. I've got this great picture of my nephew, Michelle, and my sister-in-law. We're all riding in California again at Jurassic Park. A little better. Then I've got this guy. This is a... This is an original piece of art as well. I bought at the, um, they have this amazing art market in San Jose del Cabo. I think they have it. It's like Tuesday nights or Thursday nights. They call it the Art Walk. Anyways, this guy had this skull. And I don't know if you can really see, but 
it is incredibly detailed and there's like little stories kind of going on in here it's um, it's really something so when I saw it I felt I would regret not buying it because there would never be anything that I'd ever get my hands on even similar but yeah it's that's really cool and then this is a recent card that we got from some friends of ours who know us very very well and it's amazing look at that I love it and what do we got here I've got an assortment of passes annual pass holders oh here's our tables from wonderland probably from 2018 there's some hard rock uh, room keys our annual passes for universal studios here is a magic band it is the only fashion thing i have or designer thing which is a dooney and burke magic band and it's the dvc magic band and over here we have uh, Marcus Aurelius. I always say that wrong. And he's in a festive mood for the holidays. Aren't you? He is the holder of all of our annual pass bands, magic bands. And that one's great. And we have a lot, a lot of trips in here we even have some of the old original magic bands from 2013 when we stayed at the animal kingdom lodge back then we were just rolling out the whole magic band thing yeah there's the little what do you call these things but anyways the 2013 echoes in the dark and uh here's my headphones i don't need to use them as much now that i'm working down here another from 2013, it's my silly ear hat, Monsters Inc. Oh, cruise stuff too. A whole bunch of cruise stuff. Oh, I forgot to show this. This is a um, tell I'm a nerd because it's unopened. <laughs> this is the Haunted Mansion pin starter kit. And I'm like, I'm not trading those. That is staying right here, and that's that. I'm keeping it. And then we go up here to our top shelf and here we have a big collection of, of just assorted Disney things. Now this is from when Michelle was really little. We used to sell these at the Disney store. And I don't know, I think about 10 years ago they stopped selling them. But we used to, we had a plan that we were going to buy one for every year and then, and then they stopped. What basement would not be complete without a banshee? And then uh, he's just guarding this egg. It actually happens to be a special <laughs> collector pin from um, Easter at Disney World. And we've got more pins and Jessica and Roger Rabbit. Another one of those little treasures from a Disney trip. I can't remember which one because I'm lucky enough to have gone on so many. <laughs> Here is my pal Mickey. This was quite the thing a few years ago. I, I actually, I should say a number of years ago. So I think it, it actually, this was still working in 2013. So we did get to use it once. And uh, so what it is, is that it, back in Magic Kingdom, they would have these little transmitters that were just designed to communicate with this particular toy and so as you walk through the park if you got near certain rides Mickey would start talking and would talk you know specifically about where you were it was really 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 cool they just they kept it going for many many years but it is retired and so he's retired and he gets to hang out here with me all the time and I don't know if you're you've seen Spirit in a way is now under, I believe, under the Disney umbrella. Uh, this is No Face from Spirited Away. And just a little 
Mini and Mickey. A little holiday special from 2008. And then this fantastic snow globe with Genie wrapping all the way around and just so many awesome, amazing characters. And then, yeah, sorry, just randomly drawing some rosemary. So we have this big cabinet here. This is actually a bed. It, um, it just, it all folds out. The bottom drawer has bedding and pillows and everything is under there. And uh, it unlatches at the sides and it all folds out. It's really cool. And um, just gives us a little more comfortable place for someone to stay because there's only two bedrooms upstairs. But I use this as a little display cabinet. It's just like, I just saw it, I had to have it. So it just has eyeballs and it's a green mysterious liquid. <laughs> it makes me happy. It's got sparkles. And this, one of my favorite things. Uh, I like all the tiki and uh, one of those beautiful birds from the tiki room. He's a little Star Lord from Build a Bear. A um, friend of mine from my last company thought it would be funny. Uh, you know, obviously, because of my name. <laughs> and then I have some of my pins down here. These are all my Power of Terror pins, including. California, the final checkout, the final checkout, awesome, yeah, I love it, my favorite ride, oh yeah, this opens up too, and then what do we got here, we got, these are all Disney Cruise pins, been on three three Disney cruises now with tiki mugs and a new edition right here still haven't found Mando this is one of the mugs you can buy in the um, boutique at the Polynesian Village Resort this is a hippopotamai tie that's a shrunken zombie head. And then right here we have Maui, also from the Boutique of the Polynesian. Behind him we have the Krakatau and the Nautilus. It got me super hammered and then went and hung out in the pool at the resort. The Polynesian it was a great day, one of the all time great days. More pins here. These are all Haunted Mansion or Mystic Mansion pins. I have not yet been to Disneyland Paris, but I saw this Mystic Mansion pin when we were at, um, what was it? The, uh, the Disney outlet. And I had to buy it. That was just cool. And over here are my Oswald pins. Yeah. Awesome. Of course, because it's Christmas, I have my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. And this is my Enchanted Tiki Room sign. Again, from the Art of Disney. And I have two Oswald ears. <laughs> I think I went to Disneyland and forgot them, so I had to buy another pair. Now here, so this is that new desk that I built in a video a while back. I can put a link for that in there as well. These two monitors work together with this laptop. This is a work equipment. I do not own it. I don't own the monitors either. However, they are also connected to my personal computer, which is way down here on a little shelf, and it's a teeny tiny 
yet powerful little computer made by Lenovo. And here's my iPad Pro. That's what I've been editing a lot of my videos on lately. And then this little computer, because it has these monitors have multiple inputs, uh, they work for both. So all I do is move the little uh, Wi-Fi mouse dongle back and forth. And uh, yeah. So this is also a new little thing, this lamp, which I love. Different, different light tones. So this is like a warm, warm tone. And it's a uh, charger for my phone at the same time. So it's very cool. Oh yeah, and it's like really flexy. So wherever you put it, it just stays put. I love it, it's fantastic. And I got some more nerdy stuff here. This is uh, Sun, Sun Zhao, The Art of War. Little cards you can pull out and then you uh, kind of keep just use them to contemplate the message. Let's just pull one out right now. Let's see. When skilled at battle, summons others and is not summoned by them. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, you so I'm going to stick that on the fridge and then just think about it for a while. So I keep my remotes here when I'm when I'm working. And again, this is a standing desk. I can drop it down. I've got these little pins. It's just manual, but I can uh, I can adjust it. But I have no plans to because it works perfectly just like this. And it just gives me all the space I need. I have a little battery backup down there. It's called a UPS. Highly recommend if you've got any electronics, computer equipment, buy one of those, plug it in. And then I always love, now that working down here, keeping one of these scenes on. There's so many on YouTube. It's like genius, really. This person is getting 12 hours of, of view time every time someone turns it on and forgets to turn it off. But I just love it. I just love how it adds this, like a window you don't feel so, I don't know, like you're in a basement because we're in a basement. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to some of my movie posters. Sorry about the, the light here. This is um, Gladiator. I bought these all, a bunch of these in a lot from a, from a guy. I used to have this Yoda that was over here. And he was just a big collector of movie posters. And uh, they're all legit. They're not... None of them are uh, reproductions. This one I bought, it's a very controversial movie, I realized, until you, well, but if you look into it, the message is, is, a, is a good message. It's a very interesting one. Anyways, I'm a huge fan of Stanley Kubrick, and um, this movie is incredible. The book is also amazing. They're very different. But yeah, I bought this one in Laguna Beach, California at the movie poster shop. I was I could have spent three days there. In fact, I, I went there every day for the three days we were in Laguna Beach, or at least an hour or so just to look at stuff. And then finally, you know, between the two of us, we did just decide to, to buy it. But it was probably the most expensive, uh, well, it's the most expensive poster I've ever had for sure. Up there with any art or any collectible I've ever bought. So it was, it was a lot of money. And they got this one, Fifth Element. Also in that lot from uh, that collector with the Yoda. I ended up selling the Yoda. Um, I don't really regret it, but I kind of do. <laughs> this one I've had for a really long time, like well over 30 years. And this was um, definitely at a movie theater in Regina, Saskatchewan. Actually, you can see the fold marks if you get really close to it. And I knew um, a woman who worked there and she got it for me. It was all folded up square, which is the way that they can kind of almost tell that if it's a legitimate poster. And uh, I framed it myself, again, like 30 years ago. Another one from the lot, just, um, 
Russell Crowe from Beautiful Mind, which is a great movie. I wouldn't have gone out to buy it on its own, just, just because of my love of that movie, but because I had it, uh, it came in a lot, I, I kept it. So, we turn back here, now you can see why well, my projector is going to blind us. But yeah, sorry the messy couch, this is just generally the way it looks. <laughs> Lots of soft blankets and um, maybe a bit of a mess because we had a popcorn feast last night watching The Mandalorian. But yeah, this is our couch, it's awesome. It's got this fold down section, like this will actually become a, a middle seat if you fold it all up. But generally we just keep it like this because it's perfect for the two of us. All the power and everything you can plug in right there. There's even light up inside that the top of that cushion. Then we've got these two swivel chairs. Oh, someone asked me one time about these curved things. And this is what they are. They are lights. And they look terrible on the camera right now. Moving from this side to this side. Trying to get the best angle I can here. So this is the 50th anniversary sketch of Pirates of the Caribbean. The redhead, of course. And this is one of Char's collections. And the pin also embedded in the print. This one I am 90% sure came from Disneyland. This Millennium Falcon I bought from an artist uh, again at a, one of those outdoor craft fair kind of thing in Victoria, British Columbia. And here we have one of my very favorite family photos from I think our second Disney cruise. And here we have oh just photography from different trips. These are all Disney trips. This was actually at Atlantis from our first cruise in the Disney Dream. Here's his buddy, the little puppy when we first got him. Of course, Epcot. Hollywood Studios. Float. Family and get another one from the cruise. Jessica Rabbit sketch. And an Oswald. Up here we have a little bit more, so we need Oswald. So we want the dolphins at Dolphin Cove at Atlantis. Here in Morocco, Michelle. Hmm. Perfect. It's my first time on the Disneyland version of Space Mountain. And the moment Aurora takes a look at that shirt Michelle is wearing. I love it. She was, she was aghast. Here's a, we went to the ball game in Seattle. Had a great time. And the Mariners won. And this is my mom's first, only, and last time riding a Tower of Terror. Because Michelle tricked her into thinking it wasn't scary. And here's another one of these awesome posters from Art of Disney and this is again another art that Victoria artist who made this Adat drawing and here we have a really cool poster I think I've shown it before this is the Disneyland Railway after um, they've started the construction of Star Wars um, of Batu, but they don't show Batu, but the train track has been changed. So kind of cool. I mean, you only get it 
you've gone on a tour of, uh, of the trains. And uh, I have not, but my friends did, and they got to ride on the Lily Bell. Very jealous, but they did buy me this. I'm always in their debt for being so considerate to buy me something like this that I love. I love movies, and I've built this big movie theater, and powering it all is the Sony 7.1 surround sound amp. It's got Bluetooth, it's got everything. It's fantastic. Lots of inputs, does everything that I need. And what I've done is I've taken a, it's called a Y cable, it's a splitter cable. So normally you would have one subwoofer, but why have one when you can have two? So I have two subwoofers, they're both Polk Audio. And um, yeah, and that's the same with these speakers. These are the main speakers, Polk Audio. They sound great and my center channel is down here and it's a company called energy and it's it's a fantastic little speaker and it's one of those things when you have a speaker that sounds great they last just for years and i've got all kinds of little blu-rays here princess mononoke and my neighbor Jotaro away a whole bunch I buy them at the thrift store mostly and I have a record player I've got a big collection of old vinyls and uh, today's album actually I haven't listened to it in a couple weeks is an oldie goldie this is Alice Cooper Special Forces and it's one of my favorite Alice Cooper albums although it's pretty obscure and then one of the many parts of this entertainment system. We have an Xbox One, and that is the uh, camera system for the Xbox. And right next to that, we have an Apple TV, and that is a entertainment system computer, but it's powered down now. I'm just not using it anymore. Games, lots of games, and more movies in that binder. I have so many movies. So as I said, these are our recliners, they're rocker recliners and they're electric, so awesome little chairs and we can spin them around to face each other. And I have this little console right here where I've got some books, I don't know if you've read anything by Naomi Klein, but very, very excellent writer, and uh, Disney Files Magazine, and what else, we got my ITL. ITIL foundations that I'm working on right now. It's a certification. And inside here is all my records. Oh yeah, this is Michelle's. Yeah, I know, but whatever. She's 15. Oh yeah, in here, all lots of CDs still. I know they're all digital now, but lots of classic records. I believe. And all of them are original release. They're not really in a good order right now. But yeah, and we're kind of looking at them backwards, but yeah, some Hendrix. This is the original soundtrack for the from Hair. Leonard Skinner. More Leonard Skinner. Kiss. This is better. Better ankle. Kiss. Love that album. <laughs> More Kiss. More Black Sabbath. Zeppelin. It's a picture disc interview. Monty Python. Black Sabbath. Uh, just some random art. <laughs> it's my original Metallica Ride the Lightning album. I bought it when it first came out. Roger Waters from Pink Floyd. It's from his first solo album, Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. So there's not that many of that album around. You've probably never even heard of it. More Black Sabbath. Fleetwood Mac. Nazareth. Max Webster, Canadian icon. More Max Webster. Alice Cooper. Cars. 
Am I even Canadian if I didn't have this album? Not a big fan of your politics, but you play a mean guitar. Some Super Tramp, Van Halen, Credence Clearwater Revival, Led Zeppelin box set, Doors LA Woman, limited edition, never been played. More black stuff. More Kiss. Mothers Brothers, George Burns, Cheech and Chong, more Cheech and Chong. Yeah, this one, probably not worth as much as it used to be, and I have two of them. This one's never been opened, still got the plastic on it. What do you got here? Heart, Meatloaf. Maiden, Anna Black, I don't even know who that is, I think it was a friend of mine's band actually, now that I think about it, this is a Mike and the Mechanics album, oh yeah I know this is a Mike and the Mechanics but when you pull out the record, here let me show you, yeah this is, it says Mike and the Mechanics but if you play it, it's ACDC, I have no idea what that's worth but it's probably pretty rare but I mean if it wasn't Mike and the Mechanics maybe it'd be worth something Hendrix The Fugues this is a weird word band from the 60s Pink Floyd Al Hurt oh, David Bowie love this album Black Sabbath, yeah, Rush, more Black Sabbath, lots of Black Sabbath, and then, oh yeah, this one, which I just bought at a thrift shop, for no, no really good reason, and there's another one, Jack Black, this is a really cool album, again, I've never played it, but it's got a whole bunch of really weird Jack, uh, Sorry, Jack White. Did I say Jack Black? <laughs> Jack White. Um, like, it's got these weird grooves where sometimes you'll play it and it'll play one track and then you play it another time and plays a different track. It's, it's pretty cool. But I've never played it. I just know all about it. Woo! That's my records. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a long video. <laughs> and these are two infinity speakers that we use for um, the surround sounds, like for the side to side. One up there, one over here. And now we're at my bar. It's Crispy's Tiki Lounge. The Voodoo Lounge. <laughs> so where do we start? So here's the bar itself. This is made by a uh, US wood, wood making company called Hooker. Hooker Furniture. It is awesome, it folds up. This actually will, if I pull all this stuff off, this will flip down as well and uh, open up. So it'll actually fits perfectly as a completely sealed bar. Um, let's see. So I always have some tiki cocktails. I've got a book here of how to make them all. So I probably even have all the ingredients. Uh, this awesome book it's just vintage cocktails and it's a great awesome book it has all of the best drink there with a negroni tim's cup tim's cup have you ever had one of those they're so good anyways drink books i have a nice little obsession with skulls so there's a skull shot glass more different skull shot glasses and an ice bucket Here I have a bunch of coasters. They're all classic Canadian beers. 
I don't even know if they're all even made anymore, but beers, the beers I grew up drinking. Most Canadian, yeah, John the Vats, extra stock, well, that's light, extra stout. What else do we got here? And of course, most Canadian, oh yeah, most an export. My Tiki bottle opener. A random thrift shop tiki that I found and here is a beer mug that you can get on the Disney cruise you can buy the beer package and then every time you buy a beer you get a like you buy a nine ounce beer you get 12 ounces of beer something like that oh, we got here some shot glasses we got to oh, St. Thomas and Hard Rock Cafe and oh, so many oh more coasters Root. There he is. Many collectibles over here. I think we got I got this from my last company. It's all solid aluminum. Keeps your beer cold. These are the little uh, glow cubes from our we went to a dinner package for the uh, at Animal Kingdom for the old Rivers of Light show. And we got these glow that says the batteries don't work anymore. Well, Hula Girl I used to sit on my old Ford Explorer that I called the Canyon Arrow. That thing went on all kinds of adventures with me and it's still here. A little tiki bar sign, someone bought me. And uh, some pins. Yeah, that's true. Right behind the little lotus, I have some Trader Sam pins. My favorite bar in the world. And there's no way you can be into tiki drinks without owning the Don Beachcombers uh, his drink book. That has all of the classics. And this is Wolfman Jack, who I met, and I guess it must have been probably 1992. I was on a date with Charmaine and um, yeah, and got his autograph because he's uh, he's an icon, he's rock, early rock and roll, part of the history. What else do I got here? Polynesian pin. What else do we got here? Oh, I got the, oh, I can't see it right there. It's from the Cabo Wabo. It was our ticket to get in that night. We thought we were, maybe we would hang out with Sammy. And these are wooden carved whiskey glasses. I've never used them, but it's a nice gift. It's like a nameplate from an old company I worked for. That is, uh, you know, the little book that they send you in the mail? It's from one of our Disney trips. I think it was when we went to the Polynesian. The first time, I think in 2015. And here's a chalkboard I used to write drink specials on here. <laughs> now it's just been taken over completely by all different magnets and things. So we've got our pass holder, annual pass holder magnets. We've got some uh, Hogwarts stuff, different trips. That's from St. Martin. These are some of the things we had in our door when we decorated our door on our cruise. I love this uh, bottle opener here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of memories. Stateroom was like our luggage tag thing. Uh, here's a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party band. Here's some luggage tags from Port Orleans. This is a log flume ride that Michelle and I went on years ago here here in town. More <laughs> luggage tags, extras from different trips, crews. These are. Our annual pass holder gifts. So we have cutting boards, two of them. We've got the coasters. And I've got them all in a little wooden box I found. And just different drink accessories, wine opener, lemon squeezer. And now, oh, more more books. Here's another Disney Cruise cocktail. Yeah, blackberry martini cocktail. And now, where are we at? Where's the popcorn popper? I love it. It works great. 
but it makes so much popcorn. We only pull it out when we have friends over, and that has not happened this year. Then I have my beer fridge, also just ridiculously covered in different magnets from so many different different trips all over the place, like Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, and. Um, St. John's, Newfoundland, and there's some stuff from Greece, and, you know, here's a Duff, Duff beer, beer opener, Jamaica, sure there's some St. Martin, St. Thomas, California, San Francisco, I just, yeah, Houston, so many, I've, I've been very lucky to travel to a lot of different places, New Orleans, just to keep it in perspective, this is like the front of my bar. Uh, if we move over this way a little bit more, there's a, I like this poster, it's just a fun poster from <laughs> Clockwork Orange, showing the evolution of man. All the way to Alex, toll checking somebody. And here I have some vodka, this is Crystal Head Vodka. This is uh, owned by Dan Aykroyd. He, he loves to promote it and it's delicious, delicious vodka. Very, very nice. Here I have a little uh, tequila, my absolute favorite tequila, which is the Don Julio 1942. Tastes like caramel. Absolutely delicious. More shot glasses. That one's from Knott's Berry Farm. Disney Cruise. This is an absence glass and an absence um, knife. So when you're dipping your dripping your water through the sugar to make a traditional one. I have different little martini, olive skewers, shot glasses, another Disney Cruise mug. These are a couple of Lucky Charms a friend of mine brought back from Korea. This is a Maori weapon from New Zealand. I've had it my parents went to New Zealand. I have a my training cards from all my chocolate frogs. Pretty nice so far. I've had, had a double. I have uh, one back here that I've never opened. So I don't know what's in it. There's another geeky tiki, but it doesn't get to hang out with uh, the Disney stuff because this is uh, this is Spock. And I've got a coffee maker here, a Keurig. Blender, of course, another Wookiee skull. A drink dispenser if we're having a bunch of people over again. It's not happening. And you just pour it out. Great for Tim's cup if you want to like make a massive like a gallon of it. Perfect. <laughs> and we've got the booze. So the bottom shelf here are all like mostly like liqueurs and things that you would add to make a cocktail. Um, Valarnum, which is critical for most tiki drinks. Pernod, and then we've got some different vermouth and some butter brickle schnapps. We've got chocolate flavored banana, uh, Irish cream and Jambui, Kahlua, Pims, Grand Marnier, more boils, cherry brandy, Sambuca. Absinthe, Triple Sec, Chambord, got some brandy, got some cherry liqueur, Midori, Fireball. <laughs> and here's the top shelf stuff. So all different rums. That is, um, that's a banana rum from St. Martin. There's actually a chunk of banana in there. Dark rum, light rum, overproof rum, spice rum, coconut rum. I've got some weird vodkas, this is so called Pinky, which is like blueberry, or blue raspberry flavored almost. This one is Sriracha, so it's like spicy, it's really good for a Bloody Mary or a Caesar. We got some gin, we got London gin, Bombay, right back here, Ryan Reynolds, another Canadian aviation gin, good stuff. And a bunch of Irish whiskey, because I have Irish roots. And it's delicious. So some Bushmills, Jamesons, Riders Tears, excellent. It's probably my favorite. Then Scotch. We've got uh, we've got some Swing Scotch. It's cool. It's from back in the naval days. 
designed so that it won't fall on a rocking ship. And we've got, uh, what do we got here? Obad, also another one of my favorite single malts. Got the Macallan Gold. Ballantine, that's a Caribbean cask that was, it was aged in rum barrels. Uh, the Glen Meringi Signet back here. Probably the most expensive scotch I have and actually the best scotch I've personally ever consumed. I probably have two ounces of it left. Got some Glen Fittich, Glen Livet. Hard to get in there. Really nothing, nothing less than 14 years old. Got some Crown Royal because it's classic and I love uh, Manhattans. It's a Kirkland, which I've heard is exactly is just Crown Royal. It's like a big bottle. It's my reserve of rye. Then in the bourbons, we've got this Basil Hayden, Booker's, Buffalo Trace, Woodford, Elijah Craig, and I've got a little bit of Jack Daniels. I've got some Bullet Rye back there, or Bullet Bourbon, and Bareface, which is a Canadian, it's a Canadian whiskey, but it's made like bourbon, but you can't call it bourbon. And here are my tequilas. This isn't technically a tequila, it's a mezquila, so it's like a combination of mez mezcal and tequila. Sam Hager brand. More tequila, tequila, lots of tequila. Because I love tequila. And yeah, and then I got all this down here as well. So all the different fixings for different drinks, more booze, more different kinds of vodkas. I got this stuff. Oh, it's so good. This dill pickle flavored vodka. Again, fantastic for a Bloody Mary or a Caesar in Canada. This is another one. Yeah, Stranahan's. Fantastic. This is from Colorado. Delicious. I, I'm sad it's almost all gone because I cannot get it here. And I have a collection of port, different aged ports all down here. So I've got some wine and bitters and different glasses and things like that in here. And it's a wet bar so I can wash up have water and stuff with a coffee maker. And sure, and I put this cabinet together. And this is like a little little secret door. Put a you know a little towel in there, whatever. And we've got these giantly deep drawers. They hold a ton of stuff. Like lots of extra glasses. I got some, I see some tortilla chips there. Here's like that popcorn, big popcorn popper, another popcorn popper, a kettle. Yeah, it's awesome. Perfect. And I have this nice mat here that's like squishy. So if I'm standing here for a long time, my legs don't get sore. Well, if you watched this whole video, congratulations. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a lot of uh, drop off because it's a pretty long video, but um, this is my space. I love it. This has been a dream of mine to have an area like this for I, I, as long as I can remember. And I'm glad that I've got it. And anyways, very happy I got a new job. Very happy that this is my office. And very happy that um, you're here watching this video. And I thank you. We'll see you next time from Holy Moly.